Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Wednesday, everybody. Yay! And it's a special Wednesday because it is National Pizza Day. Ah, oh, my favorite day. Yeah. It's my favorite day. And you know what? We're, in fact, because this is such a special day, we're doing something a little bit different. We're having our Tasted Tuesday today. So don't let any of this confuse you. Yeah. It is Wednesday. I actually woke up thinking it was Thursday. That's a little <laughs> bit more disappointing than if I you know. think it's Tuesday and it's actually think, Wednesday. <laughs> because you think you're closer to the weekend than you are. Yeah. yeah. No, it yeah. was not that case. So, but, yeah, we could yeah. have done Taste It Tuesday and Taste It Wednesday, but we decided, hey, slow your roll a little bit. Plus, we only have an animation for Taste It Tuesday. So, so we're going to play that right now and then we're going to unveil exactly what we are tasting today. I, what could it be? What, what could, it, could be? it be? Mm. Okay, All right. here we go. One, and two. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Rewind. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> yes, we're having pizza. Look at this. Uh, and it's not just any pizza. We want to show you where this comes from. So, Dianoyas, which has several locations uh, across town, they started in the Strip District. Look at you. They have this Pizzeria Davide now. <laughs> and they, for Valentine's Day, will create, or this weekend, I should say, on Saturday, I believe, is when they're offering this, heart shaped pizzas. So, for an additional $2, they'll do a heart shaped pizza. And this is the thing that I think is really cool. Uh, so, if you're not really feeling romantic or in the yep. love kind of mood, they will also make you a heart-shaped pizza that is split in two and jagged down the middle like a broken heart. Mm -hmm. Do you always eat two pieces of pizza at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Heather. Because you know what? I was so into like talking about the pizza, I didn't even notice what you were doing until, <laughs> until you did it just then. I was like, oh my gosh, she's eating two pieces of mm -hmm. pizza at once. <laughs> it's like the, you know, double fisting when you were in college. You had like a beer and something else. Now I have right. to be, this is where I am in life. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a grown up now. I can eat my pizza. I can make a sandwich. You, I want yeah, to you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we also oh, want to mention because there are these beautiful pastries out here and this wonderful bread. And so this is from Dianoyas as well. And so they're offering this up uh, for Valentine's Day. And look how impressive it is. It's beautiful. In fact, yeah. I want to eat this thing, whatever this is. It's gorgeous. The heart shaped. Can you guys see? Oh, this? and the bread smells so good. Look at the layers there. Yeah. Well, we are very thankful to celebrate. National, National Pizza, Pizza Day. Day with Dianoyas and Pizzeria Davide, who we've had on the show before, but it's been so long because of COVID. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. You know, another place that we are fans of uh, is pizza, the Pizzeria Cali Caliente. Caliente. Yes, I'm not saying it right. The official name of it is... Caliente Pizza and Draft House. Thank you. Yes. And so anyhow, they're doing something <laughs> special today uh, that is really kind of cool. They're part of a nationwide movement to make the largest pizza delivery ever. So, <clears throat> Caliente will be donating 30 pizzas to the Light of Life Rescue Mission on the north side. More than 200 pizzerias across the U.S. are part of this today, so I think it's a tremendous effort. And you know, pizza really is like that comfort food and so filling. Mm -hmm. You get the dough, you get the cheese. I mean, it, it makes you feel all warm and gooey inside. Will you try? I'm just, just now try, getting to it. Try two you slices. You want to see me do two at the same time? <laughs> we do. We do want to see this. It's okay. really fun. You feel <laughs> <laughs> All right, now my mouth is full and I can't talk at all. <laughs> but it's delicious pizza. Oh, but it's gonna take me a while to recover from the <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do want to hear from the you. The trouble because, you get me into. I'm sorry, it's so fun. What what is the show if we can't have fun and laugh? It's true. Um we do want to hear from you because people are so divided on their pizza mm -hmm. places. I know that there are some real heated pizza debates that go down. Well, people are so loyal to their pizza places. Yeah. And I was going to say Western Pennsylvania, but it's really like the quad state area. Yeah. So 
go to our Facebook page, go to our Instagram page, because we have posts there where you can chime in and you can tell us what your favorite pizza place is in our area, and we want to hear your suggestions. There are so many pizza shops here. I, I saw a TikTok not too long ago about someone who is a transplant, had moved from the south up mm -hmm. here, and was fascinated by how many pizza shops and beer distributors we have. <laughs> We're ready with pizza and beer. But you know the other thing that I think is interesting about the pizza shops is they're not all the same. There are so many, like, so many unique, yeah. very, very different types of pizza in western Pennsylvania. And so and that's why we want to hear. And this is a very interesting statistic, I thought. Lay it on Do us. Do you think this is true? On average, Americans eat 23 pounds of pizza per person each year. 23 pounds. Well, I, you That's know, a it, lot of pizza. Truly, like how much does one slice of pizza weigh? I don't know. We need a scale. If we, like one slice, I mean, think about, if you, if you and Gary order a pizza, how many slices do you eat? Be honest. We have eat the whole ever, pizza, right? Have you ever housed an entire frozen pizza by yourself? That's, that's a truly special night. I have. I've <laughs> totally many? done it. <laughs> well, you have too, right? Okay. Of course. Okay. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't true. After, after I, I confess to it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I have done that. All right. Hey, it is Love Week, and we want to talk to you about that because we have uh, special segments all this week. We've talked about flowers. We've talked about candy. We're going to talk about a wonderful date idea today. We are. And, you know, we had Daisy at Sarah's Candies yesterday. Mm -hmm. you, I put in my request for chocolate-covered cherries. She brought them to me. Oh, that's so sweet. I know, and they were delicious. You mean... You've already opened them up and you haven't shared? Anyways, uh, so we are going to have a special <laughs> date planned for you today. Selena's going to take us there in just a little bit to see how I avoided All your right. question. <laughs> All right, we do want to remind you Valentine's Day is just around the corner. It is next Monday, and we wanted to share with you. We just think they're so creative. So they're Yinzer cards. They're all about Pittsburgh. Uh, they're sold in Giant Eagle and mm -hmm. also some Hallmark stores. And these are our buddies, Jimmy Cren, uh, Larry Richard, and cartoonist Rob Rogers, mm -hmm. who come up with these. And they have new ones for Valentine's Day, so we each picked one of our favorites. Okay, so do you want to read? Can you read yours out loud? Okay, I don't know if I can read it backwards here. Okay. Um, this is how I read so, bedtime stories every night. You're like, but we can't see the pictures. And I'm like, but I can't see the words. I need to see the words. Some penguins mate for life. It's true. Just look it up. I'll be your loving penguin if you'll be my Stanley Cup. Oh. I just thought that was so cute. So touching. Okay, mine are. Mine are. Mine is. <laughs> my favorite is. Roses are red, violets are blue. My heart belongs to the Steelers, but you're definitely number two. That's cute too. It's I like so that cute. one. It rhymes. Yeah, they're clever. So, anyway, don't forget Valentine's Day and these cards benefit animal friends. I was going to say, it's not just fun, it's not just a nod to Pittsburgh, but it also benefits animal friends, which is so wonderful to hear. All right, you already said yesterday that your favorite Valentine's Day candy is chocolate covered cherries Love from them. Sarah's. And that was my mom's favorite, that's still my dad's favorite. So anyhow, we're going to talk to you about this survey that was done by CandyStore.com and see if you agree with this. Okay. So it was the favorite candy across the U.S. in every state. And it says our favorite candy in Pennsylvania is M&M's for Valentine's Day. Mm. I mean, I would never turn down a bag of M&M's. I, I just want to say this. I'm just going to throw this out there. How many times do we read one of these surveys and completely disagree with it? A lot. Almost all the time. Well, because I don't think states are all that different. I think when they're coming up with one of these surveys where they want they want each state on their little map to have different candy in it. Yeah. So, like, I don't think people in Ohio have vastly different candy tastes than people in Pennsylvania or West Virginia. So, I, I just, I'm always suspect. The uh, classic heart-shaped box of chocolates came in second place, by the way, um, which I have to tell you, I really love. I love them. I think they're so much fun. Now, do you go by the guide? Like, do you, do yes, you open it up and look part. at the guide? Yeah. Okay. It's you so don't just fun. randomly pick one and, and then see whether you got a winner or not. I am picky, as picky as a four-year-old. So I can't do that because I don't love everything. But it's so much fun to share a box of chocolates with someone. You know, you yeah. can open, your kids can eat, your husband, your and wife, your partner. about it when, when something is heart-shaped, when something is heart-shaped, it doesn't it just make it heart. sweeter? Yeah. So number number three on the list of candies, by the way, conversation hearts. Why are you still holding took, the Well, pizza? because they took a one shot of me, and I thought I'm going to show this pizza off a little bit more. Uh, but anyhow, the the conversation hearts that have the little messages on yep. them, which totally takes me back to school. Like, do your kids 
send valentines to all the other kids? Yes, we are currently assorting them and arranging them now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Um, the, the conversation hearts, though, have changed. Some of the messages, I feel like they're more modern. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we t talked about this a couple years ago yeah. or something, didn't we? Where they've sort of updated them. Yeah. Like, give me an example. Like, DM me. No, I don't know if that's going <laughs> true, but, but it could be. <laughs> Send me a DM. Those Slide into my DMs. Is that something that kids say? That I heard that on TV the other that's day. That's a direct message. Yeah, like you want right. somebody to send you a I direct message. I heard somebody say slide into my, she slid into my DMs and that's what started it. I think I was watching House Hunters International and that's how they, they talked about like how they got together as a couple. She slid into my DMs. You were like, and I was just like is what that? does this slide into my DMs? Google, Siri, what does slide into my DMs mean? No, I knew what it meant. <laughs> I don't know if it's cool to say it, but I knew what I meant. <laughs> well, hopefully you're not sliding into anybody, anybody's DMs right now. No. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. All right.